Because I was wondering if this was going to be too close to the shower. Nah. And that this is going to be too tight. This definitely looks like it's going to be tight. Bro, you got like eight feet. I've been thinking it's time we try something a little bit different. We are at our favorite, I don't know, this is my favorite store. Well, I don't know <laughs> if it's your favorite store. We are at my favorite store uh, to get some more supplies. Oh, this looks a little bright. To get some more supplies for the new apartment. Uh, before I show you the new, wait, I got two new things to show you. So before I show you my apartment, my unfinished apartment, I'm gonna give you a tour of the apartment that's actually ready to be to go live now, which is Dre's apartment. I'm here for one thing only. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll show it to you later. Anyway, so for today's video, apartment tour coming soon, but because I'm here already, let me get what I need and then we'll go straight to the apartment and let me hear you guys thoughts what you think of our new or Dre's new Airbnb. I should probably ask for help though. How big is that bathroom? I think this is enough, right? All right, guys. We got the Schluter system. Schluter. It comes to this anyway. Does it matter? It doesn't, but... You know, you still want to know. Why? You have to buy it anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, Schluter system check. I think this is the only thing for the day before we go do the apartment tour and take the pictures for Dre. And you know, these fine details make it back and complete, right? You don't want your towel to just be out there all naked. Just like, I know it's a bad thing, but they need, you know, this is their towel. This is for them to cover up and just not be exposed. So, shooter system. All right. You gonna do it before we leave? I know it's your favorite store, so. No, I'm good. Make sure you go. You sure? I'm good. Any faucets, flooring, tile, stone? I'm not there yet. Okay. All right. You're not there yet. All right. We gotta finish yours so that the contractor has time to do my job. Are you gonna do it? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, let's go then, while you think about it. This might be a little too big. Oh, it's not gonna close. Is this gonna close? No. Yeah. yeah. It's never too big. <laughs> so there's a point I was going to this floor in the course so much that that same lady that helped us, I walked in one day, and I think it was early because I wanted to, I don't know why, but they just opened. She says, I see you so much, I think I'm gonna get you a vest. Guys, when I tell you I'm excited for this renovation to finally be complete and show you what I have planned, because besides it being an Airbnb, also got my, you know, I'll be able to make some money off it being an Airbnb and recoup some some stuff, you know, some some funds that I'm losing right now. But I could also use it for some content, and that's like the biggest thing right now. Jamaicans with you? Am my bucket? This could have came right here. They could leave that. But this? But with a shower door like this, they're gonna have to move this over. I feel like this is a big enough. This bathroom is huge, right? Like, this is a big bathroom. So the whole thing is, I didn't want, I don't want the bathroom to end here. And you got all this dead space over there. What you think? This thing could have moved over for sure. Toilet, maybe you can get away with it. Bro, you got like eight feet. I was wondering if you were swinging by before I leave. Oh, you outside? Mm. Okay, all right, do your thing. So this is also actually on the phone just to make sure, because I was wondering if this was going to be too close to the shower, nah, and that this is going to be too tight. This definitely looks like it's going to be tight. When yeah, it, looks, it looks that way, but once you put the cabinet like this way, you, even so this, will, this wouldn't be the middle. No. Oh, okay. That wouldn't be the middle. We might have to use a... Uh, to extend it over to... Um, no, the flex ones. What is to hold up the tiles while it sets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Didn't know that. Oh, is that is that because of the size of the tiles? Yeah. No, any type of tiles you're putting up, you have to put you put a straight edge at the bottom to mm -hmm. hold it also to keep everything straight as you go up. Because if you don't put anything there, it can slide down. Mm -hmm. So you might put it there, then you you turn your back, you go outside, so you come back, and you see this one is down, this one is still up, and this one is down. You know what I mean? Okay. So you put the water hold everything up. So this is gonna be and and my new now. Well, this is right here, right? Yeah, right. I mean, you have it turned the wrong way, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has to go up there. Yes. So two more. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice you two more. Um, the floor in here is white. Yeah, there you go. And the wall is white too. Yeah. Only thing, I'm, only, only thing black is black in the shower. In the shower. Yeah. That's the part I was confused with. I never really did. Um, had anyone asked me to change tile colors as you step out of the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had to be you. Where you saw that though, or you just that just came to mind? It's, I still think it's a different outlook. If somebody to Airbnb here versus Miami, had coffee maker there and all that stuff. Yeah, but we didn't have time for coffee. The only coffee we had was mimosas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the toilet, the bathroom over there, we might have to use. Um, 10 inch toilet and not a 12. Ten. So usually, okay, usually when you measure from the back wall to the center of your drain, where the toilet is going to be, you want 12 centers. Mm -hmm. All right? That's a standard size. Yeah, that's a standard. Sometimes it's too small. Now, in this case, this is touching the joist already. Okay. But you're talking about toilet over there. Yeah, I'm talking about toilet over there. Yeah, it's definitely this one. 10 inches? Yeah. You mirror, you said 20 by 20. See what I said what it means would be like kind of exact. That's fine. So we just center it up, you know? Now you're noticing the space, right? Yeah, because I can finish the walls up, exactly. rock out. I needed you to look up the washer and dryer. I'm not sure on the... the steps? Yeah, I'm not sure uh, of the height. Because I didn't put a door here and here as yet. Because I'm not sure of the height. What do you think? Looks good. Like, they fast now, I get that. But it looks good though. The layout, it's coming together. You said it could have been faster? It could have been faster, yeah. Well, you, could, you, you missed a week, right? Something like that? Missed a week. A week and a half. Yeah. Oh. Alright. So, finally, I'm going to bring you guys to see the um, the apartment. The new apartment. The finished apartment. What we're ready to... The whole reason we came outside today. I don't know how he just left his truck like that. Mm. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's go. Moment of truth. Let's get some light here. All right, so we can finally see the completed, the 10 out of 10, oh, we get some light. That Drake said a 10 out of 10 Airbnb. The full tour. First of all, just to have it clean is the best part, but uh, doing everything, to me it was good before all the knick snacks. What's the knick snacks? The painting, the coffee maker, the, you know, little flowers, mm. things like that. If it was up to me, I wouldn't even put it, but maybe I'll be losing out. But it's so far so good. This it nice. feels a lot better. This is a nice better. couch. Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't that expensive to me. It wasn't that expensive? Mm -hmm. Did a lot of shopping around. Pictures a good touch. You got TV in here. You got yeah. TV everywhere. We did the floors, painted the walls. I actually did the cabinets too. What, a table and chairs? Yeah, new table, chairs, mm -hmm. and more little things to come. Even that little diffuser thing behind you. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So far so good. It's just... A lot more work than I thought. 
especially scouting for the furniture, the carpet, the TVs was pretty easy, but like not mounting it, a lot of additional costs you kind of got to put in for it. What made you want to do it this way instead of a tenant? <laughs> tenant? Uh, like any tenant or like you mean section eight? Any tenant. Uh, just to have a little bit more say so, you know, for the laws that's in New York. It's, I don't want to, I want to try something different. I don't want to have to deal with a person where I have to be stuck with for a couple months not paying based on a situation. I feel like I, I could take enough of a risk to, you know, get people in and out versus having a long term situation. I can't get in here, uh, scheduling, oh, I, I just want a little more control. Okay. And at the same time, I need you to be successful. Cause if you're successful, that means I'm successful. Call it right up. Get this up and running. And as soon as I get the business from you, it's going to be posted. And when it's posted, I'll let you know. Based on what you've seen in the video, what do you think of the Airbnb? Brand new, oh, I mean, new TV, new couch. Is this an ottoman? Rugs, tables, chairs, all that good stuff. What do you think? Anything missing? Did we go overboard? Do you like it? What do you like about it? Post it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I like the um the finished product. Yeah, it looks I like really how it looked. It looks really good. The paintings and everything made a big difference. So mm -hmm. I hope it works out. I hope we get some bookings. I forgot to tell you. You gotta follow up on that. Yeah, tomorrow. I gotta call them. Because not leaving no time soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I found this. <laughs> Alright, right. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Days down, we made some progress in the future furnished finder, travel nurse, Airbnb, whatever we're gonna call it. And sometimes you just got sometimes you just have to try something new. It doesn't always work out. And but you don't know until you try, right? Say hi. There you go, say hi, cool. So hopefully in a couple more weeks, I can give you guys an update as to far as what we got going on, how close we are to being done, and just the progress of what it's like to run an Airbnb for the first time in New York. And yeah, how much it costs, the headaches, the struggles, the good points, you know, all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. Appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye? You want to say, you want to say bye? Okay. Tracy. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm all yours now. I'm all yours. Yep, 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 yep. I'm all yours. I'm